when you send money using UPI. The transaction seems to complete in just seconds, no matter the time. No matter the bank, but this speed isn't magic. It's powered by a carefully engineered backend system that handles everything from identity. Routing, settlement, and fraud prevention, all in real time. In this video, let's break down the architecture that makes UPI one of the fastest and most reliable payment systems in the world. At the heart of the UPI network lies the NPCI switch, a centralized router that connects your payment service provider to the receiver's bank. Every transaction flows through this switch. Interacting with PSBs, identity verifiers, fraud engines, bank APIs, and messaging buses, and yet, the entire journey takes less than three seconds. Each user is assigned a virtual payment address, or VPA, like name at bank. This VPA is securely mapped to their actual bank account by the PSB. When a transaction begins, the VPA allows the system to locate the bank without exposing sensitive details. The transaction is authenticated using device fingerprinting. PIN entry and in some cases, biometric verification, keeping both security and convenience intact. The payment request begins from your UPI app and is routed through your PSB's API gateway. This gateway performs several key functions. It verifies signatures, checks rate limits, validates request payloads, and protects against replay attacks. It ensures that only trusted, signed and compliant requests ever reach the UPI switch. Once the request hits the NPCI switch, it identifies the beneficiary bank based on the handle in the VPA. It simultaneously sends a debit request to the sender's bank and a credit request to the receiver's bank. Both instructions are handled synchronously to maintain atomicity. Either both succeed or neither does, ensuring consistency in every transaction. The banks involved expose UPI-compliant APIs that plug into their core banking systems. Many banks use internal message queues to separate UPI traffic from core systems. This helps maintain speed even during high load. The bank verifies balance, performs the debit or credit, and responds instantly through these APIs. Every UPI transaction carries a unique reference ID, known as a UTR. PSBs and banks store this ID to implement idempotency. So even if a transaction is retried due to a network error, the backend knows whether it's already been processed. This prevents duplicate debits and ensures consistency, even in high volume or unstable conditions. Once the debit and credit are confirmed, the NPCI switch sends an asynchronous callback to the PSB. This callback contains transaction status, timestamps, and any error codes. The PSB uses this data to update the user's screen, usually in real time, via web sockets or push notifications, ensuring the experience feels instant. Even though money moves instantly between users, the actual interbank settlement happens in batches. NPCI collects transaction records, sends them to the Reserve Bank of India, and RBI then settles funds between banks via their nodal accounts. This background settlement ensures liquidity and keeps the system balanced. To prevent fraud, UPI systems apply multiple layers of security. This includes two-factor authentication, pin retry limits, and transaction timeouts. But beyond that, AI-powered fraud detection engines analyze behavioral patterns, device signals, and transaction velocity to flag suspicious activity, sometimes in milliseconds. The entire backend is built for uptime. UPI systems rely on redundant data centers automatic failovers, retry queues, and health checks, PSBs use circuit breakers and exponential backoff strategies to avoid cascading failures. The result is a network that stays online, even when individual components fail. 
So the next time you pay someone with UPI, remember behind that one tap is an entire architecture optimized for speed, safety and scale from idempotency keys to multi-bank reconciliation. UPI is a masterclass in backend engineering. Subscribe to Full Stack Dev for more deep dives into modern real-world systems.